Hello Vonely Kosher and welcome back to another daily speed build. Today we are building an exhibit for African penguins, as requested by Despicable Gru. Um, yes, this is our 10th speed build, people. <laughs> Time flies. Let's hope we can keep it going for a while. This exhibit was once again very heavily inspired by a real life one. This time by the Maryland Zoo in Minnesota, which I found once again on Zoo Chat. And I think it's a very cool exhibit. It's very basic, it's very unnatural, but it has very cool uh, theming, and I like theming. So I figured why not try to recreate it. So that is what we did. The focus is very much on the building in this exhibit. The building and the buildings in the background, you'll see me uh, spending way too much time on as well. This is an exhibit which really benefits from context. If it was just a standalone exhibit with trees around it, it would not look as good as it does now. Or at least as I think it does now. Um, building very detailed small buildings is hard because we have to use the walls on the tiles. And the tiles are pretty damn big, so I offset this part of the building a little bit by using the pillars for parts of the wall and I make the roof using the concrete pillars of my building set just to give this American feel of a square <laughs> boring building but still kind of making a detail through a slightly uh, extruding roof and these windows made out of bookshelves once again because the windows of my building set um, <laughs> where it too flat they didn't come out of the wall so they're too thin I should say so we had to settle with these but I like these windows as well so it doesn't really matter mm, I tried uh, fiddling around with new trees for this build but settled with uh, more or less the same combination as always because uh, the trees I used just didn't feel right the lights didn't hit some right so I, yeah, I didn't like it we do use the montane uh, biome textures for this build, and I think they look really cool for this. They give this very rocky slash concrete feel to it, which is nice. Another very uh, concrete and rocky feel to the exhibit is this stare into the water, which is something you see a lot in these kinds of exhibits in real life, I feel like. Um, so it, it adds some realism, and I like that. This is not at all a very uh, natural exhibit, it's very much a zoo exhibit. And that's what I like building most. I like building realistic stuff which I could technically see in real life and not stuff which is just pure fantasy. That's why I have Dear Um A first for these uh, speed builds for me, I also don't use different textures in this build for the biome. I just stick with this ground texture so that is new <laughs> and I also have a flat roof so this is very different from my usual stuff I use different tricks than I normally use but here I use different rocks different shapes different sizes and different colors to make it interesting and not one big blur of rocks because that is often uh, the case if you use lots of rocks in, ex in an exhibit it quickly just becomes one big uh, unit instead of lots of different rocks. And that doesn't look good, that looks very boring. Also for the building I use different materials. You have the, uh, the bricks and you have wood and you have the tiles and the concrete. And these uh, drain pipe things made out of the, the poles, which is a neat little detail. Oh, here we also have a backstage thingy with some uh, concrete uh, barrier between the penguins and the staff so that is just a very tucked away thing of the exhibit but it adds to the realism which I like if I ever am to make a real zoo that is the kind of stuff I want to focus on having these uh, small backstage details just makes an exhibit and a zoo come to life which is what I think is really cool, and I don't see that very often. And I don't do it very often because I never actually make zoos. I should someday, but like I said, my 
building style changes too much and I can't stick with one style for a long period of time. I get bored of the style and want to try something new. So that is why these speed builds are great for me and I really really enjoy doing them. Um, yeah, I decided I wanted uh, a big building in the background instead of foliage, so you see me building a facade over here. It's nothing special, but still I tried doing something cool with it, because I just can't leave buildings alone. <laughs> I can't do easy stuff, I need to make it hard for myself. So that is what we did. I started off being really uh, weird and doing the walls out of columns instead of normal walls just to get it slightly more offset but then I uh, decided against it. I think. I'm not even sure honestly. I think I did stick with this. Never mind then. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it's just a big plaza over here with lots of chairs and tables. It's just filler to make the background interesting. And you'll see the effect it has in the eventual uh, cinematic. And I hope you agree with me that it looks better than if it was just some trees. Like it is on the left side. But on the left side I also have this facade of a building. Or at least just some random walls. Which still make it more interesting than some trees. Uh, but yes, the tree combination I started off with was not the best. It was very... Uh, I don't even know what it was. Which is not very vibrant, not very colorful, and just no shading on it at all. Which is a shame because the textures are cool and uh, the models are amazing, but it just doesn't really work in game. A standalone tree, like in front of the building in the exhibit, looks good, but in combination with others for the entire background, eh, nah, not a fan. But that is it for the exhibit again, people. Um. I hope you like this one, because I really do. I think it's uh, a cool exhibit. And, uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm improving. And hopefully you guys see that as well. <laughs> um, more suggestions are more than welcome, as always. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.